Welcome back to my channel, y'all. And today we are doing the best homemade firecracker balls, which is a Joe's Crab Shack copycat recipe. And y'all, this is my go-to appetizer when I would go to Joe's. And it is so good with that seafood mixture and that cheese blend. And of course, we made some ranch. But let's just get into it. Let's go. So I'm starting with some minced salad shrimp and I am anti salad shrimp but for this recipe it's must. I also have some premium lump crab and I use blue star. Um, it has no shells, super delicious. And then my spice blend, I have seasoning salt, paprika, and then chili powder. And then I also have some chopped up pickled jalapenos, minced bell pepper, and then I have chopped onions and pepper jack. And then I have sour cream, cream cheese, and butter that has all been softened. And then I also am going to add in some mayonnaise. So I will have all of the measurements in the description for this recipe. Now just mix the cream cheese um, and then the uh, mayo blend together first and then add in your spices and seasonings. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not already. And for those who have, thank you so much for your support and welcome to the family. So again, I'm just going to add in a little bit. I didn't add everything. Um, so you can adjust this to taste. Um, but it is so good. And you can also use mild. I used hot for these. Um, I probably would have did half and half because I'm a little bit of a punk. They were spicy, okay, y'all? But they were so good, though. And so then add in the seafood last and you want to fold it in, okay? You don't want to um, break up those lumps in there. You want to just do a gentle fold on these, okay? So next, I am going to um, <clears throat> add in my breadcrumbs. And this is actually crushed butter crackers, okay? And so you just want to fold that in again. And this is going to help it... Um, hold together and then I'm scooping them out using the smallest cookie scoop and then I'm going to pop them in the freezer for about 15-20 minutes just so they can firm up a little bit so I can get ready to batter them. So after you've battered them you roll them in some breadcrumbs and then you just fry them up and they take about five to six minutes on each side but look at those golden little nuggets of goodness oh i'm sorry y'all um yeah these were so good and again it's a great appetizer and you know what this falls under freezes beautifully so if you can just make them ahead of time pop them out of the freezer and fry them up when you have guests y'all they will be thanking you and asking for a pillow okay they are not gonna want to leave after eating these so good so easy but I know what you guys want I want to take that bite there you go baby mm, all that seafood mm. I hope you guys try this recipe also don't forget to hit that notification bell so that when I post a new video you'll be the first to know also new recipes every Monday Wednesday and Friday and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and if you're new to my channel welcome 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 thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you next time in my new video bye y'all